off back-to-back -back road losses to Horizon League foes, Wright State returned to the Nutter Center in need of a get-right game, and that's exactly what they got against the 10-win Cleveland State team. Raiders back on their home court for the first time in 2024, looking to snap the Vikings' four-game win streak. Early in the first, Alex Hubrix finds A.J. Braun down low in the paint, and the 6'9 big man's jamming it down. Then here's Trey Calvin at the wing. Firing away from three-point land, dropping it down. Raiders up nine to two early. The shooting barrage continues in the first. This time it's Caden Brown dialing up another three ball, and he'll rattle it in. Home crowd loving this one, but it was close in the first half. Right, stayed up 39-35 at the break. However, the Raiders would come out red hot in the second half. Here's Alex Hubricks at the top of the arc for three, splashing it home. Brandon Knoll was doing it all tonight. How about the 6'8 forward spotting up from downtown and stroking home the three? Raiders opened it up to an 18-point advantage at one point, and they kept the Vikings at arm's length the rest of the way. Tanner Holden going to get the feed down low. He'll go up strong and count that bucket plus the foul. That made it a 68-52 ball game in favor of Wright State. Then it's Brandon Knoll. Watch him work the defender in the post, and Cleveland State simply had no answer for number 14. Noel was dominating as he helps lead the Raiders to a much-needed win. Wright State rolls 82-70. Brandon Noel with a, was a rebound shy of a double-double, 24 points, 9 boards. The Raiders get their seventh win of the season and even up their Horizon League record at 2-2. Two and two. When you haven't won like you want to and you do, you, you remember how good that feels, and so, uh, you know, I appreciate that. And just a lot of good things out there from our team. It was a good team win, that, you know, nobody caring who's getting the credit. I feel like we learned a little bit uh, right away from that road trip because both those games are up at half. Um, the same thing happened today, and we were able to, like I said, withstand um, their runs and stuff like that, and that was good for us. So I think we already have a little bit of learning that we did from that last road trip, and it's something today that we capitalized on, and it was uh, really big for us.